uh, welcome to the Montu channel. Um, uh, for those who are uh, new to this con concept, uh, Montu is an environment uh, that helps you thinking together with the computer. I have created it for myself um, to be able to make uh, information systems more efficiently. Um, it is not really popular, uh, but right now I have got um, a task that uh, I can use to demonstrate how to think together with an information system. So I decided to uh, make this recording and see if um, <laughs> what comes out of it. So the task is um, to teach uh, this Montreal environment to connect to a JDBC database and uh, get meta information and interact with the data inside the database. Um, it's quite a generic task, so I think that's a good demonstration. So uh, the Montreux system itself is written right now in Java, uh, but uh, it was about uh, four months at most, and there is nothing uh, really uh, linked to the Java environment. So. Um, it can be ported to other systems like um, C Sharp or C++. I have done some, some portings already. But now we are working with Montru. So, um, first of all, um, I want to create a connector uh, to the database. Uh, it will be in a, in a test uh, environment, I guess. So, I just open up the sandbox and oh, I will create a new package for it. So create a new package. Where is package? Okay. Oh my dear. Of course, yeah, I'm, I'm in debug. So now create a new package that is uh, sandbox JDBC. Um, well, what is that similar to? Maybe uh, this HTTP server? Yes. Oh, yeah, I guess. Okay, let's. Or maybe a search engine? No, doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, um, copy the HTTP. Okay, just copy it, open up, and close the others because otherwise I always make mistakes with the renaming. So um, this will be dust JDBC connector. I don't need anything from the JDBC, uh, HTTP server, of, com of course. Mm. HTTP components. Well, let's make it JDBC components. Okay. Um, where is your problem? Come on. Okay, let's create a new interface. Dust JDBC component. I'm happy with that. Um, okay, um, the active means that it will have an init and release command, but I want to make it processor processor hmm. evaluator evaluator for um, SQL queries 
make the process components listener uh, very nice. Oh, and it's not an abstract class, that's a real one. And let's say um, add unimplemented methods. Very nice. Uh, so now I have a um, Java classifier that will handle the JDBC connection. Um, what I would like to do is to introduce uh, this connector to the environment. Let's find some Oh, that's a very good source to copy. Uh, these are the constructs that I use right now to, to introduce my components to, to the dust environment. Dust components, kernel components, yes. Uh, JDBC types, and it will be, of course, JDBC connector. I don't need these ones. Uh, and I have JDBC services, and this will be, of course, again, JDBC connector. So now I have a type definition and a service definition, um, but I still have to introduce this this uh, to the environment, um, which I will do by creating a new function that will register the service and and the type in each JDBC. Of course, I have to include those JDBC components that I have just created. And in the init JDBC, I want to say that does JDBC uh, connector class will be the implementer of does JDBC services JDBC connector. It is a processor, but of course it should be should, should, should provide other services. Processor, evaluator, active. Oh, <laughs> I have all. Very good. So, beyond. Okay. Evaluator, active. Uh, what has this was the listener? Prots, listener. Hey, <gasps> I don't. Oh, sorry. Prots services. A listener. Okay. I have said all this, and I want to say that uh, I will connect. JDBC types, JDBC connector to my new beautiful JDBC service. Yep. So this is how I introduced my new service. And I say init JDBC. And <laughs> components, process components, HTTP client, HTTP components. Not interesting. Even this is not interesting anymore. Uh, maybe I should um, it is um, OK. 
okay. The ugly way of logging. Print line init command received. This will be our first uh, task to see if we have successfully integrated um, this new service to Dust. So let's launch Dust. JDBC. Wow, we have the new service and the new type. So this is the JDBC connector type. I create a new instance of my new type. I can also see that um, in the entity services, I have the JDBC service connected. So I'm very happy with that. And I want to create a new message. Message. Yeah. This is a new message. This is, of course, this is the message type. And by dragging it to the console, I have the message instance. There's just a little bug here. That's why I have to repeat this drag and drop. And now I have this message. I need an init command to be sent. So the command of this message will be the active in it and now let's see if oh where is the console it's the console is here oh again if i can see the log here here we have the console and let's see if i send this init message Init command received. Very good. It's so good that I want to save it, but it's ugly uh, to be saved uh, because I want to. Okay, where I save, I create a new unit. Let's see. I create a new unit. This unit is, uh, should be JDBC test. Into unit entities, uh, okay, let's make them identified. This is the, so this should be the JDBC init and the connector should be the JDBC connector. Nice. Oh, so nice. Okay. So now I put these new items into my database test. Hmm. Unit. And I say commit. Oh, we have an exception here, which is oh well, yes. Uh, the new types, the JDBC connector and JDBC and service, uh, must also be saved somewhere because it sure only exists in the source code. So. What I have to do is uh, to open up the service itself and store it in the unit and the JDBC connector type should also be con uh, put into the unit. And as we are here, I would like to open up the JDBC connector and the init message when I load 
the unit and I say commit and it's successfully committed. Uh, so if I close my application and run it again, I can load the JDBC test if I'm correct. And now I have the JDBC connector and the JDBC in it. And let's see if the message processing still OK. I just send the message to the connector and init command received is available. Very nice. So the next thing is, of course, now we should add some functionality. First of all, of course, I have to add uh, the JDBC uh, library to the system. Um, I don't really like these uh, build systems, so I just create a new folder here. A new folder in the lib, which should be JDBC. And let's look up. Oh, yeah, that's the J MySQL connector. I just copy it here. In this way, I can um, upload uh, the actual uh, library to Git. So there will be no problem. And I add. this char to my build path here. This is the exit lib, lib JDBC MySQL connector. So theoretically, now I would be able to uh, connect to my beautiful Sakila database, which is in here. So if I connect to Sakila, yeah, I have lots of tables here and everything, so I'm very happy with that. Good for testing. But uh, how should I connect to it? My SQL. Sakula JDBC connection. Hmm. Okay. Oh, JDBC. Very interesting. How do you do it? Oh, it's too complicated. Let's see. Uh, Let's console. Java mm, example. Sooner or later, I will find something. Oh, that's a nice one. Registration JDBC driver. And so on and so on and so on and so on. Ah, that's good. So what I need is something like this. So instead of init command receive, I need to do some work here. I have the JDBC driver. 
I have the D, which is non true. Non true. Of course, it's very bad to do this in this way, but anyway. Call my SQL JDBC, and that is a, an action. Okay, SQL connection. JDBC driver, also funny. This is what you do. Good, and let's pretend that it succeeds. So let's close it. And um, well, if we have a connection, connection. Successful. We should write something out. Con get what get schema. Sounds nice. So this is what we should do. Of course, this increment received is not interesting anymore. Uh, it compiles. So let's run it again. Hello. So now I load my JDBC test again. Why is this so big? And I send the init message to the connector. The JDBC has called my secret JDBC driver. Let's see how it goes. Deprecated was generally unnecessary. Okay, I don't care. For now, at least it worked. Connecting to database. quite long. What does it take so long? Hmm. Is there any problem here? I can connect to the database. Uh, where are you? Join the process. Mm, maybe the path. Oh, yeah, there was an exception. No, no, no. link failure well okay let's try the first layer because there was some different setting in the actual tested connection fixed it And see it again. Send the message to the JDBC connector. Now the DB URL is really 3306. Go. Wow, connection successful. 
although the schema name is null, but oh well. So the first run is OK. We were able to uh, create a new connection to the database from zero in, well, I think it was within a half an hour or so. And now this monitor system is able to connect to a database. <clears throat> well, let's see what can we do with the database. Okay, no, um, some niceness here. Whatever happens during this process, catch throwable if Well, of course, um, sooner this is the, the ugly part uh, of the development. Um, I used to do in this way that uh, I start collecting information. Um, uh, by by testing new codes. And then when I have something um, useful, then then I will uh, refactor uh, these long Um, all functions to, to smaller parts, but in the beginning it works like that. Okay, then JDBC meta formation extra database metadata. That's what I will need. I would like to uh, find the tables inside this database. Tables. Tables are selectable. Uh, I'm not interested in the scratch table in select. Super tables. Get tables. That's what I want to call. Okay. Retrieves. Catalog. Catalog must match a catalog. Because without nodes in there should not be used to narrow the search. No, should not be used. Table name patterns. Types. Which must be from the list of the table types, no returns all types. I like result set oh, com get meta mm. get tables. No, 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 no. How about that? No, 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 no. No types can be no. Very nice. And what do you say? You will return table cat. Table name result set. How do I use a result set? Hmm? Result set is oops, over as before first, delete row first, next. Now 
next? Okay, maybe. Okay. Make it nice. Uh, iterate over our result set. How is the is it official? Okay, let's make it nice. Uh, for boolean okay equals rs first okay okay equals rs next and um, let's print out um ah result set metadata very nice just for fun because that I will use it result set metadata R M D R S M D get why why did you do that? Why is that the default? I don't know. Okay, anyway. Uh, good and rs get string column label. It said that it will give me table name. Let's see it work if it works. Table name, and I want to test it as Java is append as the sep false and tm. So and okay, uh, connection successful. That comes here, and I want to say okay. The schema was just nothing, so I can forget about that. And let's say that. Um, um, getting tables getting tables okay tables are Ah, catch. That's fine, away. Nice. Theoretically, what's the problem here? Oh, it says don't use it. Okay. I don't like warnings. So, nice clean. Oh. 
So let's see how it goes this time. I start with this JBC thing and just let it go. Wow, I have ugly response. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> let's say that this should rather be a <clears throat> <clears throat> a new line getting tables that will be a K just run it again I don't want to see that ding oh that's nicer but Oh yes, that's it. That's it. The actor address something that's that's from from the succula thing. Nice. So at this point, um, I would like to see if I can narrow the search. So it's sad that catalog and schema pattern schema schema table schema table cat mm, that's nice so this is what I want to what I want to collect um, so I can of course it's again very ugly but very useful. Mm. Table, you say table cat. Table scan. Yep. And table name. Um. Let's format it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. quick and dirty then I will clean it now it's just quick and dirty save drop again how do you look like now it's ugly There is something here. Table cat. Table. Oh my god, my god, my god. This is uh, this is awful. This is my of course my uh, My utilities, I have just forgotten how to use them because it was a long time since happened. So you know, too ugly to be used. Just clear and show me again how do you look like? Okay, so I have this sis thing. Sakila. Oh yeah. So Sakila is this schema. So 
I should scheme a pattern. The second parameter should be Sakio. How about that? Mm. It didn't work. It seems that now I have got no response. Or it just didn't work. What happened here? Okay, now put a breakpoint into it. Show me. The result set. It's weird. I was unable to filter with the second parameter. Why? The catalog is no. Okay. Tea time. <laughs> 